Tonight for dinner, we are having grilled chicken breasts. These are, they actually were purple beans. We got them from our CSA. I'll try and um, show a picture of what they looked like before. And you can kind of see there's a little bit of purple in there. I just sauteed those with some onions and then salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then we have some sweet potato, uh, like baked sweet potatoes. Tonight for dinner, we have some panko crusted <laughs> pork chops and then some quinoa and brown rice blend and some mac and cheese for those who want it. And then in here, I've got the leftover green beans and onions from last night. Tonight for dinner is a frozen sausage and pepperoni pizza. My husband James is working and it's just JT and I and we tend to do really simple meals when it's the two of us. So we're going to have some of this and we've got some pineapple waiting over there and maybe I'll find a veggie for him too. Alright so dinner tonight we're kind of having, I don't know, kind of like chipotle burrito bowl sort of things or however you want to have it. I'm sure my son will have it as nachos. I might have a tortilla. So I've got some chicken that I was actually the Kirkland like grilled pre-cooked stuff. And I had some random enchilada sauce in the freezer. So I just let that cook on low for like ever. And then these are some black beans I mixed with green chilies and some salsa. We've got some rice. And then we've got toppings, onions, peppers, cheese, lettuce, sour cream. So tonight, totally forgot to record what we ate, but these are the leftovers. We just had um, spaghetti and meat sauce. Sorry, it wasn't even meatballs. It's just hamburger browned up. And then um, we had corn on the cob on the side. And I cooked the, so we have a CSA. And from that, we did this corn event where we got to go pick our own um, like sweet corn. So we brought home, I think, how many, like, just two huge bagfuls of corn on the cob. So what I did is I shucked them and then vacuum sealed them, about three or four in each pack, and then put them in our deep freezer. And last night was the first time I tried cooking them. So I put them in the Instant Pot frozen, and I just kind of stacked them up. I, we had three of them. And I cooked them for two minutes. They were good. I'll, next time I'm gonna try one minute because they were a little, not, they were just a little on the soft side, but they tasted great, super sweet, and definitely highly recommend freezing corn on the cup if you have extras like that. I didn't par boil it, pre-boil it, I didn't do any, all I did literally peel off the husks and the silks and put them in freezer, in the, um, vacuum seal bags and vacuumed them up and stuck them in the freezer. So that is what was for dinner last night that I totally forgot to film for you guys. See you later. All right, tonight for dinner we have some roasted sweet potatoes, some sauteed green beans with garlic, and just grilled up some chicken breast, and we got some watermelon. So there's James's plate. And I'll make rest. On this night, we were up at our cabin. We had some Spanish rice, some taco meat, lettuce, cheese, onions, olives, sour cream, all the toppings.